What's up? Tyler from Plugged On. I'm here with an album review. This time I'm going to talk about the new album from Baroness titled Gold and Gray. This is their fifth album. Uh, I guess. <laughs> uh, you know, they've had a few double albums before, but um, this came out June 14th, 2019, and Baroness, they're, they're a heavy metal band, uh, I would say, at this point. You know, you could guess you could throw them in that sludge genre. Um... You know, with early Mastodon or High on Fire or stuff like that. But uh, I've always enjoyed Baroness over the past number of years. Ever since um, I got into him around when Yellow and Green came out. Um, and I'll be quite honest with you. I've kind of fallen off the map with Baroness a little bit. I enjoyed Purple, but Purple didn't stick with me like a lot of the other albums did. Um, it's since grown on me a little bit over time. But I kind of got to the point where I was like, oh yeah, Baroness. Damn. I don't know. For some reason, I just kind of stopped listening to them. But now I'm having like this fucking resurgence now that this album's out. I've been listening to all their past, their past few albums. Um, yeah, they're great. So how's this album? Um, I think this album is is pretty damn good. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, still trying to get over this fucking cold, man. It's kicking my ass. Um, what I'll say is. There is not one single bad song on this album to me. I love every song on here. And I, I do think that this album is definitely better than Purple, in my opinion. Um, and I just... I know that Baroness, you know, they, they were a lot heavier with, say, the Red Album and the Blue Album. Um, and they've kind of been trading that for maybe a little bit more broader sound as they've uh, uh, kind of evolved in in their career. Uh, I don't think that's a bad thing, necessarily. I mean, there's some there's some heavier parts on here, but there's nothing with, you know, the more um, intense vocals that some of those earlier albums have. Um, but I also think that they get better and better with bringing more mood and atmosphere and feeling to their songs. And there's some absolutely beautiful songs on this album. I mean, it starts off with Front Towards Enemy, which I think is a good one to start off with. has a lot of energy to it. I, You know, <clears throat> it is a good one. Uh, not, you know, like I said, I, I don't think there's a bad album on, or a bad song on here. Uh, but I would say Front Toward Enemy, to me, is, is a little bit lower uh, on the list of, of the songs that I do enjoy. Uh, I mean, it has some cool riffs to it and some great vocals from John Baisley. Um, but, yeah, I, I think once you get to the next run of tracks is when this album just to me becomes something pretty special um i'm already gone i think is a fantastic song uh fantastic lyrics uh great vocal performance from john and and just a great hook honestly i think that that song just really it was the song to me that one of the earlier songs that just clicked with me like immediately uh, with this album. Seasons I think is cool. Seasons I love the the vibe going on. I love the drum work in the beginning, um, in kind of the the different sounding vocals that they have. Uh, I think it sets up the song and really uh, starts in an unexpected way. Um, I think it becomes a very great Baroness song uh, eventually. Uh, Tourniquet is such an amazing track. Tour Tourniquet might be my favorite song in here. I'm trying to decide. Um, but the very first minute, minute and a half of Tourniquet is absolutely stunning. Amazing vocals. Uh, just an amazing feeling. I was driving down the road the other day and just had this on. And, and you know, I turned this shit up so loud. And it was so so incredible to just soak that song in uh and i like you know it, it gets into something a little bit more heavier uh later on but man that that's a really great one throw me an anchor um throw me an anchor broken halo are probably two of the the heavier songs on here as well but i also think have some fantastic vocals especially broken halo um broken halo uh there's, you know, during the verses, some amazing uh, higher vocals from John Baisley, just really bringing out emotion in, in his words there. And then Throw Me an Anchor, I think, has a really beautiful chorus, but then also just kind of that really goofy Baroness guitar work uh, that that we all kind of, that, that I love from, you know, some earlier, earlier albums. And, you know, I'm glad that they, you know, keep continuing that. Um, I Do Anything is another track that I... <coughs> 
excuse me, that I think is amazing. Um, I Do Anything is a song that I would love to hear Baroness play acoustically and without the rest and it's just maybe john and an acoustic guitar or something i mean it, it's it's truly an amazing song with a lot of feeling to it very simple song don't get me wrong uh but but i just i like the the feeling of that song a lot um same with cold-blooded angels and then you get to the the first lead single borderlines which i think is a very solid track and borderlines when it first came out didn't click with me immediately and i was like it's it's fine uh but i don't know something in the context of this album surrounded by all the other tracks um because to me on this album they just went a lot more for atmosphere and in feeling over anything and in emotion and borderlines kind of fits in with that to me um you know when you get to some of the some of the verses later on some of the later choruses absolutely incredible vocal work from everybody in the band and you bring in some of that lead guitar uh, as well and it's like man this song is really fucking great uh so borderlands definitely clicking with me a lot more and then pale sun is an interesting track to close the album out and i think it really says a lot about what the album is uh, as well in what what they're going for I, I like I said I like this album I definitely like it a lot more than purple is it my favorite Baroness album I don't know yet um, but but I just think it, it's a little bit different for Baroness and I, I, I like personally this direction I like the vibes they're putting off um, do I want to hear maybe some heavier stuff from them yeah I mean there's some bangers on those first two albums um, but hey man if they're going to deliver stuff like this I'm, I'm all on board let me know what you think of the new Baroness album, Golden Grey. We get us a 9 out of 10. Thanks for watching. See you later.